How do I give a rip of my, my parents? You see, you can't control how anyone else receives you. You can only control whether you're in the receptive mode or not. So you're going to really like this. This is a breakthrough that you're looking for. How'd you know? <laughs> so when you are broadcasting, that's how you set your receiving mode. What you broadcast is what you're receiving. What you broadcast is how you set your receiving mode. So if you're broadcasting from this state of alignment, as we said earlier, the energy that creates worlds is flowing through you in such a powerful way that it overrides what anybody else is doing it doesn't matter what they're thinking about you what they're thinking about you doesn't affect you if what you're broadcasting has the concert of all that you are flowing with you you see what we're getting at but if you've been like most and you have domineering someone's in your life who want you to care about what they think who have convinced you that it's their allegiance and alignment that you need but their allegiance and alignment is not in sync with what source knows about you when you hook up with what humans want about you the receptive mode something down here when you hook up with the receptive mode of your inner being it's a whole different vibrational frequency you see and so we talked about this earlier that when you care about how anybody is receiving you that's always what introduces the resistance and doesn't allow you to get the momentum going that's always what it is now we know we keep offering words like don't give a rip and don't care but there's also this thing called law of attraction or this being an inclusion based universe there's no resistance so you can't not care because in the not caring you're caring about what you're not caring about so when we say just don't care just don't give a rip we're not giving you anything that you can use we're just telling you in answer to your question why it isn't working but what does work is turning your attention to what does feel good what does work is turning your attention toward the things that you can find pieces of and that's what you were not willing to do with us and we understand it's a big room and there's some bit of self-consciousness but you are sort of stubbornly determined to stand in your place of hardship it's almost like you want to overcome the hardship so that the others will understand something you can't overcome hardship it's so interesting we watch so many people that are now in the successful place that you are on your way to who want to explain how hard it was that they got there because they're still listening to all of the people who are upset that they're not there yet and they're trying to soothe those that aren't there yet but that doesn't work you've got to reach the place where you accept that it's easy and then it will be easy and then you got to say to everyone whether they're willing to listen or able to hear it in the way you mean it it was easy it was easy I made it a struggle a lot longer than I needed to but when I finally figured it out it was easy question is why you said why why was it easy it was easy because the energy was already there and the momentum had already been gathered and the stuff was already aligned it was easy because I just had to do one little piece I just had to relax a little I just had to trust a little I just had to believe a little I just had to try a little less hard I just had to stop justifying and rationalizing and defending I had to stop the struggle and the effort and the defense and the blame I just had to stand and let it come which meant I had to feel worthy without justification isn't that just the most incredible thing I've got to feel worthy without justification how can I do that when I've been justifying and justifying and justifying and it hasn't been coming that's why it doesn't come your worthiness cannot be presented to you in the form of blessings that you all deserve when you feel that you have to justify your worthiness you see you got to give that up we're making so much more of this than it deserves you just have to find something fun to think about and think about it is there anything fun to think about is there anything fun that's in your vortex that you'd like to think about anything at all stop it cars why do I do that I take so long to just decide it's an internal struggle it's an internal struggle as you're trying to give yourself permission to talk about something and you're worried that you might not say the right thing when anything that you would have said would have been the right thing oh man anything anything that you would have said would have been the right thing anything because you get to want you get to desire the universe is ready to yield to you you don't have to justify you've had someone teach you that you need to justify you better have a very good reason for asking for what you're asking for but that's not the way the universe at large is that's not who your inner being is your inner being is ready and willing and able to shower you with the blessings and the details that you've been asking for you just have to give yourself permission to ask So 
so we had a little rough conversation there just a little bit but you felt it didn't you you felt it and so car represents a vehicle why is a car appealing to you how are you saying the things in my head <laughs> Well, no, we well, already we know told that. you we're standing we're in your vortex. We can say things that aren't even yet in your head. Say it, say it, say it. Do it, do it. This is the point. We are transmitting to you signals that are going to surprise and delight you and keep you living happily ever, ever after. But you just have to get in the vicinity of it so they start occurring to you. So here's the question Was it our thought that you received, or was it your thought that we received? What? You talked about us getting in your head. Was it our thought that you received or was it your thought that we received? I have no idea. Think about it. This matters. We've been talking all day about you being in the receptive mode. We've been talking about this vortex that has all the things in it that you've been putting there and our ability to be in there, to see it, to know it, to understand it. And we are projecting a signal that is so powerful. Who's in the receptive mode? You are. You are. Even when you want something, that means you're in the receptive mode. For a desire to even occur to you, you're in the receptive mode. You just got to run with it and not kill it with your doubt. You got to say, ah, I got an idea. That means I'm in the receptive mode and that means it can be a reality. It can be a see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it manifestation. It can be, it can be all of that because I want it. I received it. Where do you think your desires come from? Because you're in the receptive mode. We just want you to stay there, which was what your brilliant question was about. How can I stay there longer? How can I stay in the receptive mode longer? Back to cars. Back to cars. All right. I kind of feel connected to a machine in that type of way. I just know the corners, the angles, the where, to, how much it wants to be pushed, where it wants to go. I would love to be a race car driver, but I mean, I have no idea how now, I'm going to get there. Now wait. You That'll see? be fun. It's just fun. It's just. It's just. Now don't explain yourself. You made a bad mistake just now. <laughs> we're playing with you, but that's the thing that we're. I would love to be a race car driver. But, but I like so, to do a lot of other things. Like I just want to do everything, and I want to have it all at the same time. But like I want to do everything, and I want to have it all. But how? How would I be everything? I would be like everybody. All right. So we're going to give you the secret to the success that you're looking for. Do it. And you're ready for it, and they're ready for you to be ready for it. <laughs> So when you say, I want cars or I want everything and you say, how just change that one question to why, because the why will hold you in the momentum of your desire longer. The how almost every time will take you out of it. Whenever you ask yourself for an answer that you don't have, you lose your connection. But when you ask a question that leads you further in the momentum of your desire, it allows the momentum of the desire to go further. Did you hear that? When my parents ask how I'm going to do that, what do I tell them? The word why and what's it to you are similar. <laughs> Why are you interested might be a good question. Why are you interested? What would they say? Because they care for my well-being. They would like to see me be, you know, more, not success, more successful, but like more happier and more, you know, well off. I love that answer, folks. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Yeah, but what are you going to do about it? Why do you want to know? Because you're sitting at home doing nothing. <laughs> but what's action got to do with anything because what? how are the bills going to pay themselves how are you going to feed yourself how are you going to provide for your family how are you going to do all of these things? well it's not possible for my dreams to come true and all of that to not come true with it it's not possible for me to come into alignment with all that i'm asking for and have any lack whatsoever in my life experience 
Mom, Dad, you're taking score of where I am. You have to give me an opportunity to move from where I am to where I'm going. And you can't ask me for the details of how I'm going to make that transition because that's going to come one step at a time. And you can't stand with me one step at a time. In fact, I think that you standing there every step along the way and asking me where you going, what are you doing, how you doing, where you going, what are you doing, how are you doing, is distracting me from what I need to do to go. Just give me a little space and I'll show you how I'm going to do it by doing it. I can't explain it to you word by word. I don't have the answers word by word. Don't ask me for a plan of action that's going to take me from point A to point B. Let me tune into the inspiration that allows that to come. All that is good to anyone comes through inspiration and my inspiration must be allowed to flow. I love how much you love me and I love how interested you are in what I'm doing. And I am so exhilarated about what's coming for me and how good you're going to feel about it. And I love how much you love me and I want you to know how much I love you. But you gotta let me just have some space where I can prove to myself how this all works. And I'm right on the brink of it. I can feel it. I can feel that things are moving and that the energy is flowing. I can feel that things are ready to pop. I can feel the inspiration percolating within me. I can feel ideas flowing you know what it feels like to have a good idea I know you do I see the success of your lives I know that you know this in some way but I'm doing it in a way that you have not done it or maybe most people have not done it I am no longer going to be so action oriented that I only allow myself the mediocrity of life I'm reaching for something that is bigger and that takes big dreams and big dreams cannot be explained at the outset they have to be allowed to gestate they have to be allowed to evolve and I promise you you'll be the first ones that I let know that this is coming and this is coming and this is coming and this is coming you can witness this translation of me in this physical time space reality you're gonna to get to watch me move myself from this being that you see as your son to someone who is so much more to the being that you gave birth to to the person that you gave birth to to the person who is creative masterfully to the person who is now in the receptive mode and ready to receive not just the manifestation but the glorious life on the way to the manifestation one thing after another mom dad I'm never gonna get this done neither are you and I'm never gonna get it wrong I'm gonna stand in this place of knowing who I am and what I'm doing and all day long I'm just gonna dream and ask myself why I want it and dream and ask myself why I want it and you get to witness what the true power of the universe is you're gonna get to watch me translate my vibrations into thoughts and my thoughts into things and I'm not gonna explain one bit of it to you along the way <laughs>